does this campaign go wrong now? I feel like we're at that point now where I could just mash through. I feel like we are at that point. But I want to see the victory sign. So what we're going to do now, guys, because the campaign is coming to a close, we're, we are going to fight some important battles, but that was such... I feel like that is the biggest game changer I just did. Fighting Barak Var early, getting rid of it down before the other... Just before they could remuster is big, because now we have a very good spot where we can constantly feed armies into the Dwarven Hearts. I said I wanted to get into the Dwarven Heart, and that is what I was going to do. I think Malice might be done. We've got too much on that side for him now. I just need to keep going. I just need to keep going and finish this campaign. I just need to absolutely destroy them. It needs to be over. We need to go full of marks completely because we, we are friendly to the undead. The undead are our friends. We don't no quarrel with them whatsoever. We just need to bash them down. That's all we've got to do now. Finish them off. So let's just keep going. All we can do is just keep going. Right, well, that's them dead. And that should be the last time they rebel now as well because I've made a new place. Oh, we're still getting money as well, even with our armies. That's big. Right, let's uh, deal with these elves. We've, he we've healed up. Let's just kill them. They, should they shouldn't be too hard now. Yeah, get rid of them. That should be the end of them. Really important that every single thing has a garrison because then we don't have to deal with this nonsense. Remember, we're also waiting over here. Our army is re is healing. It's almost healed and we can go deal with those elves. Got an army here as well. Get ready to fight. New units available. Got some other... What are they? The, the Kimramats or whatever they are. And some armored rat ogres. They can be pretty cool. What else can we build? I mean, we're going to need some mortars in this army, aren't we? We're lacking catapults. We are. Let's just get them from there here because we can get them. They only cost one anyway. Boom. There you go. There's that army sorted down there. Right. Let's keep going. The Siege of Ekrand next. It says Ferric Victory. I'm going to have to fight it. I'm very curious why it's a Ferric Victory. We'll have to see. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, whoa. What the hell is this? 200%. Interesting. Quick save. Let's go. So what does Ekrand look like as a city? Um, okay, it's very narrow. Very narrow city. And we're waiting on our reinforcements. Oh, it's the only place reinforcements could come from is in this little hole bit here. It's a pretty nice, well-designed city. So we're going to stay back for this, wait for our reinforcements. No point of approach until they arrive. You say it's cowardly. I don't think it is. I think it's smart. But sir, why are we not charging? Because, we're on, because this would be dumb. That's why... Okay, this is the weirdest reinforcement place I've ever seen. It's coming out of the rock. But look at this. An army of sensor bearers. This is what we need. This is the sort of thing you need. An army of sensor bearers. Some death runners. A, a bombardier unit. And of course, more catapults. So yeah, let's get them in. Bloody hell. Look at this army. You are the weirdest reinforcement places I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be very hard to breach. They've got quite the defense. So let's try and like whittle them down as much as possible with the catapults. Right, are you ready to see some towers die instantly? Because I am. How many are there? Quite a few. we doing one at a time. It should be dead easy to get them all down at once. Damn, they've got some decent range. These are these uh, 
these towers. This is why I'm going for one at a time. I think it's safe that we take all these out because otherwise we might have an issue. Let's move in the sensor bearers. Followed by the invisible units. Well, what we left with, we've got some storm vermin. Let's get them forward. Storm vermin there. The rest is range, isn't it? No, we've got some few more units there. Right, catapults. Finish all towers. I don't want any surprises. We've got to weaken their defenses because if we don't, we'll take some huge damage here. And I'd rather not. Well, let's take out that tier 4 tower if we can. Check on the range of those iron torpedoes. Wait, don't go any further than that. Right, play. We need to get control of the game now. The uh, catapults are being a bit dumb. Right, we can take out that one. Finish that tower. The tier 4 one might be a bit too hard to reach. We do have some jet hills, though. If we get them on a hill somewhere, they might be able to take out the other tower. Right, let's bring in the rattling gunners. A couple of them. Yeah, good. Whoa, carbles take out towers quickly. when they hit of course which um play call catapults do tend to, to, to hit most of the time all right tower down Right, let's set the catapults up just to fire at everything now. Right, where are my siege towers? We didn't bring them over. Okay. Plague monks. Storm vermin. Let's create some holes in the wall now. We've got no warp grinders in this army, so we have to rely on catapults. Some doom frayers as well. Let's get them over. We just gotta go for it because I forgot I have a time limit on. Probably turn the time limit off because it feels a bit unrealistic with it on. I put it on normally just in case it bugs out the game and I don't have to play the battle again, but. Kind of just force you to rush and not plan your sieges accordingly, though. It's the only problem. Right, the wall is down. Oh, 
Right, prepare the gunners to come forward to start shooting. Siege towers are on their way. Rest of the army is inbound as well. This is it, by the way. This is my army. If I fail the siege, I lose the battle. We've created a double hole here, though. To get these sensor bearers inside. And we have weakened them quite a bit. The Rattling Gunners coming forward to see if they can do anything. Time to charge the walls. If I had to charge the walls, get the rattling gunners inside so that they can actually take out the towers. Basically, I want to set my rattling gunners up something a little bit like this. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Is that artillery there? Yeah, take that out. They've got a lot of towers. I hate that you can't just completely demolish the wall, by the way. You have to leave this bit in the middle. Where's our leaders? Get all three in. So we're climbing the walls. That's good now. These shells aren't even arrived yet. Uh, troll one. We got some choppers inbound. All right, sense bearers are in. Try not friendly fire. That'd be good. There were mares below on them. Oh yeah, why are we just sending the doom prayers? Probably not a bad idea. They can go through the hole, can't they? So get them in. Okay, our oh, rattling gunners are running straight into trouble. If we can get them to actually fire, that'd be good. Come on, we got to charge up the walls. We're going to get trapped. Long beds. Right, come here we go. Finally, we're getting in. Taking out the artillery yet? Nope, still got them having problems there. Right, I think it might be time to silence the catapults. If they keep hitting up, they start hitting their own troops, that is. A little bit more of an open siege there, so if we can get our units in, we might have a chance to actually use our guns. Oh, 
Yeah, we've got some stealthy boys out here that can do some damage. Bring them in. Yeah, so rattling gunners are focusing those bloody choppers. Good. Wait, we actually got around. Good. Set up and shoot. That's it. Finish them off. More artillery. Take them out. It says the bearers moving in on those guns. Yes! Get out of here! That's it. We got off the wall. Stop. Stop. Stop daydreaming. He got off the wall. Yeah, let's start using some proper guns now. Oh, base weapon damage increase. Get that going. Right, finally, open fire. You're out of the fire line, just open fire now. There we go. That's what we're talking about. We've got some fresh rattling gunners here now. We go through this gate here. I hate the rattling gunners can't go on walls, by the way. I think it's criminal that they can't. Keep using magic. It's going to win us this battle. Alright, we've got some flanking sensor bearers. Let's get them over. Oh, wait. These guys are shooting. Kill them. More rattling gunners. That can't do anything because it's a siege. Unless, obviously, there's choppers, which... Really are goddamn annoying. Wait, they've left this side completely exposed. Send those sensor bearers up the hill. Wait, hammer and anvil. Back of them. Yeah. Look that. Go to the back of them. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Into the back. Ouch. Yeah, that tower's a problem. So, I mean, we need to take out all this so we can take out that tower new plan get closer and take out the tower all rattling gunners try and take out that tower I'll make you aim one at a time so you don't do your weird formation glitch also why are we not in range formation there we go Now we're just running into trouble again. Right, bring, bring the bell guy forward. We've only got 16 minutes to capture this damn city now. Getting a little worried here. Get all this storm vermin up this goddamn hill. Right now. Go! Move!
Here come the sensor bearers now. You piss off, you're too de damaged. Bro, I've got some rattling gunners that are quite healthy here. Go for the bleak tower now. Last about our artillery is not fun. We've got a bunch of doom frays here. Go. My good, we're finally taking out that tower. We need to send something around the back to deal with our artillery, though. These longbeards are really being annoying now. Let's take him out. That's it, Rattling Gunners. Open fire. Use your guns. A couple more damage there, and they should be dead, dealt with. Do I have to micromanage you? Why? Now, move! Faster! Scurry! With purpose, make my things! There we go. Finally, getting combat. Two more hits, so that guy's a goner. I get two Storm Merman units to take out this barricade because it's causing confusion. I understand the confusion with the barricades, they're really annoying. Yep, tricky fight this. Very tricky. Especially when your units don't listen to you. You know, that is something that happens a lot in these sieges. What are these storm vermin doing? March scurry dasa. Quick, quick. Guide us on to one. Doom player. Die, die, die. Saints are barrets. There we go. Go. Charge. Get off the fucking wall and go. Finally, they're listening to me. Jesus. Lose my mind sometimes, I swear. Now they take out this barricade and we'll go around the back with this lot here. Get ready. That's how we do this. Push forward. 
Push forward. It's going to be closest. We've got 10 minutes left. Now we're taking this position. Good. We're taking out this barricade. Lovely. We're taking this position as well. We're pushing through. We've stopped their guns. We've silenced their guns. Nice. No more towers on this side. My armies are pushing through. We're going round the back. Let's go. Very difficult to take out a barricade, isn't it? Right, what have they got left? Oh, just two armies. Oh, a tier three tower still. That's going to hurt. We can fix that by going up this hill. Watch, watch. Ball, ball. I swear to God, if there's a mod for pathfinding, please tell me now. I'll be forever in your debt. Seriously. One thing that needs to solve in this game is pathfinding, man. It's so atrocious. Ow. Finally, go. Break through. Open fire. Guns. Attack. Stop them moving. In to the Dwarven Warriors we go. Bloody hell. Eight minutes to spare this, by the way. Oh, lovely. Nice when things actually fire. It's great. It's a great experience. Ready, ready. Not when they don't fire, though. I am ready. Come on, what have they got left? What do you do? Throw a bunch of fucking... Oh, they are. Oh, come on, charge the walls. Finish them. The last of those godforsaken iron breakers. Get them down. We almost in. There we go. Barricade down. And that's that. They're getting a little low. Pull back. What's actually left? It's got to be it, right? These guys retreat and they're done. Yeah. Hmm, what? Some selves is firing on this side of the map. What could they possibly have left? Okay, good. Oh my god, guys. If there's one thing I want them to sort out in Total War, it's Pathfinding. Jesus, bloody hell. 
just thought won't listen to you at all. They just go, they have a mind of their own in sieges. I swear, I swear in sieges, just a mind of their own, some of these troops. I click, go this way, and they go the complete opposite way. Oh God, please fix Pathfinding, please. Forever, just fix it. Oh God, please just fix it. One thing you need to do, fix Pathfinding. And Barak Bar is mine! Let's absolutely go. Alright, we've done all of victory there. Barak Bar was a little bit harder to take than I thought it was going to be. But, Barak Bar. Ekarin! Why do I keep saying Barak Bar? Kill Barak Bar! What the hell? I love how the undead just took that city. I just love, I just love it, actually. It's like, ah, I just took my city. It's fine. Right, what about you? Are you defended well? Yeah, you're defended well as well. But look, how many armies are here now? I've lost count. Well, I'm truly, absolutely pushing through this campaign now. But let's not forget about other areas. Malice next. Warlock, master of scratch. When are we ever going to, like get rid of the attrition in this area so I can move quicker through territory. Warlock, master of All I'm going to say is thank God for goddamn Underway, man. Like, Underway is so important. Don't forget about Garrison. There we go. That's it. Oh, yeah, still waiting on our armies to deal with the elves. That's good. And then, I love how I'm like solving every single problem I possibly can. What about this beautiful army? Okay, well, it's going to need some front line, isn't it? And some dangerous front line we shall. As well as, as we all know, catapults are always a must. Going to be an interesting army, the Storm Fiends Wind Launchers. I'm interested to see what they're going to be like. Right, time to heal up. You heal that, we'll heal here. Jobs are good. <laughs> right, let's not stop. We've got a lot. We got a lot of fun to be had. You know. I see some more armies, and I see I need to kill more things. We go. Valiant defeat. Fine by me. Thiric again! What's the map like? I mean, it's constantly Thiric. What's the map like? Oh, wow! What sort of map is this? This looks sick! It's got bridges! Oh, we have to fight on this. Oh, you know what? We're going to make it the ultimate siege, right? We're going to give AI some of these armies, right? And we're just going to see the ultimate siege. They are. We were four on four armies. It is decisive, but the map just does look too good. So we'll control that. We'll no 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna give AI control. That'll be my army. I'm not sure if I trust them with the Doom Freyers. Bomber bears, Doom Wheels, and Mortars. That's something I'll give them control of. You have control of that. This will be awesome. I know it's one-sided, but the, the map itself just looks so good. <laughs> I have to try this. Right. Now, this is a something of a map. Proper interesting map. Got to go through all this, have we? Interesting. 
interesting. Can we? No, we can't. That'd be too easy. Have they fixed it? Yes, they have. You cannot put troops inside the city anymore. That's a no-no. Five minutes. Seven minutes. I'm trying to think the best place to put the AI troops. Seven minutes. It's five up there. Okay, right. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty, 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 pretty cool map. All right, guys, let's do this. Everyone backs against the wall, please. There we go. Where's our reinforcements coming? AI's coming up there and two down here. I feel like I should give up. You know, when the battles are this big, AI should get control of something because otherwise it's just a nightmare. Right, let's move a little bit forward. So we're just in range. There we go. Perfect. Start the battle. Start taking out the towers. Pretty sure they're in range as well. They've made it so the towers are always in range of my artillery. It's great fun. However, what lining cannons are perfect for this sort of siege? They're a lot more better than catapults, I feel, I believe. Yeah, catapults do way less damage than warp lining, so this is perfect. Should be able to take these out. No problemo. Boom. One down. Next turret. Four minutes to go. We got a scorpion in this army. Maybe we should get that to make some brother the damage. funny at the difference in damage warp lining cannons pew 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 dead in seconds catapults take way too long they're just damn accurate you know what i mean i love the smoke effect that i, that I am rude next one You know, the warp lining cannons fire properly as well. Like, you know, I have noticed that rattling gunners don't fire properly, but warp lining cannons, man, they fire properly. All right, and the final tower, let's get it down. The doors are set up very interesting, though. They've got both bridges covered, but they're doing it on the wrong side of the bridge. They've... They know there's reinforcements coming this way. That's why they've put units there. They've sort of spread their units out a little bit. Which is quite interesting. I didn't think they'd do that. Wait, we have mortars. Oh, perfect. Let's start mortaring them. We could do some hella damage here with some mortar fire. Get the snipers down as well. They'll be able to do something. Move in the infantry. I want to test something. What lightning cannons? How accurate are you on gyro bombers? Here we go. Oh, wow. Hella flipping accurate. Okay, I need to build more of these. They're having no fun there. Go on. Yes. Take it out. Oh, where are my mortars? Almost in range. I find with mortars, you're better off just firing at will in them. Then They're much better when they're just stuck, stuck on fire at will. One minute to go. We've actually got a lot of warp grinders. Let's take out some of these walls.
Here come the mortars. You sure you want to stay on that wall? Bringing the Rattler Goodies forward. This is a really cool map, by the way. Oh, look at that! Off the wall! Yeah, they've had enough. They've realized this is not for me. I'm running. What? Are you guys psychopaths? No, they've realized this, this is dumb. We may be slayers, but we're not psychopaths. All right, more warp lock, lock Jessel's coming in. Chemical warfare. There we go. Goodbye, troll torpedoes. It's the last of the chemical warfare. Oh, what a joy to behold. Right, okay. Reinforcements have arrived up on top of the hill over there as well. Right, let's uh, let's get ourselves inside the city now. Warp grinders, engage. A lot of mortar fire going off right now. And that might be the end of those first tr trolls, troll hammer torpedoes. Again, an army of range. Just not a lot of melee. Let's get them ready to go in, though. We've got the wall grinders. Watch how quick these walls evaporate, though. I really think they should be able to demolish the entire wall. Maybe you can on these particular walls. Okay, don't leave a gap. Just go full wall, yeah? Still leaves a gap. It's annoying. Why? Why, why would they do that, by the way? Why would they leave just some random gap, make it harder to siege? Like, look, look at this, right? Imagine if that was down. Look at how much more space my units would be to get in. I think it's dumb, this system, by the way. On Medieval 2, you could evaporate a wall, and it was hilarious. You could easily enter the city. Oh, we got some more, uh, more units. Right, keep an eye on our snipers. Let's bring in our leader, because he did well last time. Come on, into the city. Let's go. We've made enough holes. Let's get in. How are the AI using my army? I hope well. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, look at all the Doom Freyers. Get these all in. Go for the artillery that's completely undefended right now. Hmm, I guess he didn't block everything off. But so here come the Death Runners. Things are moving. That's good. I like them. things move. They've left their artillery exposed. Oh, wait. Why don't we get our mortars inside and then just, like, start mortaring them again? Where are they gone? Look at them trying to run their artillery across the bridge. Oh good, let's capture this position or it'll take out that tower. Oh yeah, get the scorpion involved. What are we doing? Bring our scorpion forward. By the way, they are listening a little bit more on this map. I feel like this map's more designed for sieges. Things to actually listen. So that's good. My army's listening for once. Ow. Got a tier four, tier four bloody thing up there or something. Right, here come the Doom Flayers. Lol, the AI couldn't round. Look at him. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, go go take out that so the tier 4 tower goes down. More units coming in. Where's my, where's my uh, guy? Ah, he's here. Oh, yeah. Perfect. May as well bring in some uh, extra units. Oh, they're bringing quite a lot over here. Oh, this is going to be perfect. My mortars fire. Perfect. Yeah, get mortars going. Open fire, mortars. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, wow, the, cap the catapult's aiming pretty accurate there, to be honest. What is going on here? I got Tomb Kings as well. We're we hitting our own troops here. Wait, you know what you can do? Remember, you can you can hit the ground. So where are my mortars? Oh, so that's it. Oh, you can't hit them with the, you can't do the uh, hit the ground only with only with artillery. You can only do it with artillery. So get them to hit in this vicinity, and then they won't actually hit my troops. Oh, more artillery! Let's go. <laughs> I hope my army's not being destroyed. Oh good, we threw here. Right, get the mortars to set up. 
Right, let's bring our leader forward as well. All my leaders are still outside. Right, get our artillery to stop firing, actually. And come in a little bit. Come over here. Yeah, we're taking out their artillery now with all my death runners. So that's good. They're going down. That's what we want. It's not going well for the dwarfs. I'm not losing much troops either, which is good. Fucking hammerers, man. They're against Tomb Guard, though. Right, maybe we don't friendly fire our own troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Stop. Halt fire. We're killing our own troops. I know you're good at that, Skaven, but... Let's not. Get across the bridge and aim at them. Aim at stuff like that. There you go. This is so cool watching both sides take place right now. Right, we got a bunch of like, oh, what's this? This entire army out here. Should we open a new breach? Fuck it, we should. Oh. Yeah, send all this round here. Open a new breach. That's what we want to do. Get our mortars to fire into this pit here. Take out this barricade. They're like a hammerer left there or something. Like one hammerer. They still own their organ guns. They're pulling back though. They're pulling back to their more defensible position. This one hammer will not go down. Now, ready, now. Time to cross the bridge. Poison wind mortar. Yeah. Okay, shoot the organ guns in the center there. There's 900 dwarfs left. Keep an eye on that Doom Frayers. A tiny little bit on the low side. They having fun? Alright, there's some Iron Breakers there that need to be taught a lesson, do they? My storm vermin are being very slow. It's like something's hitting them or something. Right, are you ready to open the breach, right? See these hammerers? Goodbye, hammerers. I'll be the death of those hammerers anyway. Mortars love friendly fire. They really do. They are kings in it, I've noticed. Is effective. Are they charging their artillery units out? Jesus, they're desperate. Right, 
is. There we are. The mortars are listening now and hitting the right targets. Good. All right. Go to the bridge. Well, actually, first, let's uh, let's go help the ally the allies out. They're in a little bit of a pickle. Oh wait, no, never mind. They're all right. Oh look, they're actually breaching the barricade. The AI are actually pretty decent. At... But the better than me in sieges anyway. They actually very uh, they actually got through. I'm still outside. They don't fire their catapults often though, do they? Not really. But anyway, that's breach. Let's finish them. Take the point. They haven't got much left now, so they should be able to go down pretty easily. Now, ready, now. Damn brothers. All right, mortars, you can stop firing. The mortars do not listen, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> they just carry on firing regardless. Yes. Come on, let's cap this point. Are they really trying to fight back again? They've actually got some iron breakers left. Just chilling in the city here. There we go. Secret location captured. On to the victory point. Okay, weaken their armor. They're a little low, don't send them in. There, mortar him down, that's it. Break their leadership. Spawn a plague on top of them. There we go, plague. Water fire! Lovely Skaven tradition! We've still got some flame cannons hitting me. They're determined, aren't they? Determined individuals. What the hell happened to those iron breakers? Well, they're dead. 152 units left. What could they possibly have left? I'm looking around and I don't see many enemies. Should be it, right? That should be game. I guess we go for the point. Look how defended it is, by the way. Why the hell are they not just defending this position? I mean, they could have just defended it, but they didn't. What's actually left? There must be like some... There must be like an Iron Breaker unit left or something. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all my ranged over. Just get them to take out the towers.
I'm pretty sure my melee is a bit knackered. You actually have to take the victory point to win. Yeah, it looks like you actually have to take the victory point to win. Yes, yes. Unless there's some units hiding somewhere, which I don't know about, but... You do wonder though, like, what Total War is going to do next, because these sieges could be so much better. They could. Like, it really could be better. There we go. That should be the end of that. And victory. There we go. So I'm quite interested what CA will do next. I mean, sieges are fun, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like they could be so much better. But we'll see. Anyway, let's end this one. Oh, I lost another death runner. I keep losing, I've noticed I keep losing death runners. <laughs> Being a bit stupid with them, I guess. Just keep losing death runners. I'll stop playing one-sided battles, by the way. That, I just wanted to see if that siege might have been interesting. If the dwarves actually defended the actual position where I wanted them to defend, but they didn't. They just sort of just... I don't know what they're doing, the AI. <laughs> I wonder if there's a, like a mod where the AI will play way more defensive, like in their sieges. They'll be more compact, a bit more forward, forward, more forward back like a, like a player would. Sometimes they do it though, and then other times they just sit and be idiots. I don't know. I, I, I'm not too sure. Another tier five. Oh, that was an actual tier five city. Of, of course it is. It's Akadolf. Of course it's a tier five city. More, more dwarfs bite the dust. Bum, bum, bum. Another dwarf bites the dust. Bum, bum, bum. Another dwarf bites the dust. Right, let's move them into position. Have I left you a little exposed? Maybe. How's Barrett Bar? Probably not a bad idea just to get these two together then. This army is just a bunch of bloody warp grinders. Flamers! There we go. Right, we've moved in a little bit further. I feel like this has been some progress. Barakvar has been taken. We've taken out Akadolf. We're, we're moving in on the dwarves, right? Also, the elf situation is over. We're going to have a lot of armies. Well, how many armies? I've got one, two, three, four. Those elves are going to be history. Pretty soon. Sure. But well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, rate, and make sure to subscribe. This, this gamer campaign continues on, as always. But we are... We are close! We are so close to a, a conclusion with the dwarves. And then we know what's next. The final frontier will be against the Golden Order. So, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.